Hey y'all, what's up? This is Jesse Both of the 19th hole, and we're here today to talk about the Platinum Resort Tournament. Uh, this guide is going to be for the rookies. So if you are a rookie and you are seeking some information on maybe how to play this hole 1 through 9, what clubs to use, uh, what routes are out there possible, and what um, ball you may want to bring along with you, you're in the right spot. We're going to do that today, uh, and we're going to start out with hole number 1. Uh, hole number 1 is a par five and this is a hole that's been featured on many tournaments um, if you are wanting to go back and look at the Royal Open I do have some videos from that uh, tournament and you can uh, try to look up uh, some of my gameplay on this hole so basically on this hole for the rookies I would suggest either a quasar or a Titan ball uh, depending on the kind of wind that we wind that we get uh, for the tournament may uh, you know decide what kind of ball you have to bring for this hole um, basically off the tee box you're going to be taking one shot. There's only really one way to play it. Um, you're wanting to land your ball in this zone right here. Okay, so off the tee box to there. And you want to try to get a roll out into this area right there. Uh, preferably more towards the middle. Um, and then from that spot right there you'll have uh, two different options. Um, I would suggest playing this hole with the quarterback. Uh, very accurate club and uh, you know very forgiving accuracy wise if you want to use the extra mile you can use the extra mile as well just uh, you know easy on the top spin you don't want to hit it too far and go into the rough um, over up in this area right here so definitely make sure that you pay attention to that for your wood club I would suggest bringing um, probably your Viper or if you have a sniper that's a little bit leveled up you could use your sniper as well uh, so basically you're going to be doing one of two things for your second shot. Either you're going to go in with a rough bump, or if you do have a guardian, you could go straight to the green with a lot of backspin. I myself would suggest going for the rough bump. Um, for what you want to do now is you want to land that rough bump in this area right here. And then from there, you're, you're going to trickle your ball to the hole um, that way. Um, for that shot right there, you don't normally need to use a lot of spins. I think you go with like one... Uh, one bar of backspin, one bar of side spin, or maybe no bars of side spin at all. Um, you do want to play that second shot though at somewhere of a minus 10 to minus 20 percent adjustment for the wind. So like if you have a sniper, normally that plays at one mile per hour per bar. That shot right there wouldn't play straight up. So you know you wouldn't play five bars of adjustment for five miles per hour. Uh, you would play a minus 20 percent. Um, of that, so for five miles an hour, you would play four bars of adjustment for the wind on that shot. So, um, if you want to play the guardian shot, you can play the guardian shot straight to the green. Um, you're going to be laying it up in this section right here of the green and using your backspin uh, to try to roll it back to the hole. Um, they do tend to to mess with the the layouts of the greens from tournament to tournament, so there's not really um, sure fire away to know of what uh, type of slopes and stuff like that will be on these greens for the upcoming tournament so uh, the rough bump is definitely the best way to have a chance at the albatross in my opinion on this hole all right so moving on to hole number two and hole number two is a par four Um, this hole right here, there are lots and lots of different ways to play this hole. First of all, um, you can find this hole on the one year anniversary tournament and the Royal Open. So if you want to go back and look at those um, those videos, you can try to find this hole on those videos. Um, I would suggest Quasar Ball or Titan Ball for this one. I myself would probably just go with a Titan Ball. Um, the way I like to play this hole is I like to play it to the left side. So I'm going to be looking to drive my shot somewhere in this zone right here. Um, and what you want to do is use at least three to four bars of topspin and some left spin as well uh, because you do want to have enough to jump over those bushes and rough, land it here, and roll it out into this zone right there. Uh, that's where you want to end up for your shot right there. Other ways you can play this hole are going to the right side. So you would land it right there and try to roll it up there. Um, some people will play um, a power curl shot 
um, where they will actually land the ball in this zone right here maybe a little bit farther up and then shoot it into this fairway right there so that would be um, definitely another play as well um, that may be a, a play that you want to try to practice a little bit and you know if you do not know the ring adjustment for the power shot you can always go to Golf Clash Notebook and there is a section there that gives you a chart that tells you how many rings to adjust for a specific driver that you may have in your bag um, so from your second shot here you're going to the green um, I like to take the shot from here to there um, with some sort of a long iron with a lot of backspin so that's usually like a Saturn uh, if you're playing your shot from this right circle area right over here um, you're going to be playing your shot to the green uh, with a wood club where you bounce it up there and then trickle it down off that rough or fairway so definitely some different options if you play the uh, power curl shot uh, that second shot will be uh, probably a thorn to the hole uh, would be my guess alright so that is that hole moving on to hole number three and this is our first par three of the day um, this hole right here I would definitely recommend um, going with uh, either a quasar or a titan ball um, there are certain circumstances where you may want to use the titan ball uh, for most people I think a quasar ball will be okay uh, because most people are going to play to the left side um, so playing to the left side you're going to be trying to aim your shot into this zone right here uh, from there you're going to skip over and roll back down. To do that you need to use uh, right curl max right spin and depending on the kind of um, club you are using you are actually going to have to use a little bit of back spin as well. If you have a tailwind uh, you'll be using a wood and uh, I mean a, not a wood, a driver and uh, most likely you're going to be going with about two bars of backspin with a tailwind if you have any kind of a headwind it's going to be about one bar of backspin um, I would definitely recommend the quarterback for that shot to the left now there is a shot to the right you can make as well uh, it's a little bit more riskier of a shot but you're going to be landing it up in this zone right here um, and from there you're basically going to be just trying to trickle it off the edge of the green Okay, so your shot's going to go in the air to the off the edge of the green right there, and then from there, if you can if you can figure it out, uh, we did it in the last tournament, but I'm sure we'll have a different wind this tournament, so uh, the shot may change somewhat. But this is just kind of the general idea. Um, you probably will need uh, the Titan ball to attempt this shot. Um, so basically, what the ball is going to do is going to trickle off the green, and just. Just somehow it happens there's a really good uh, roll out to the hole from that spot right there. Uh, a really good high percentage chance if you can execute the shot that you can have a really good chance at the ace. So that's definitely uh, what you have to think about right there. And uh, that shot right there is actually taken with I think the Viper or the, uh, the Sniper. So definitely keep that in mind. But I think most people for the most part will play that shot to the left uh, with their uh, driver. I would suggest the quarterback and with the tailwind you have about two bars of backspin a right curl and full right spin so that's the way you can play that hole as well alright hole number four and hole number four is a par four Um, this hole right here is, is a fairly straightforward hole. I would definitely recommend the Quasar or Titan Ball. Um, and you just basically want to take your driver and smash it down the fairway as far as you can. Um, this is your landing zone right here. The, the farther up into that front quadrant you can get is the better. Uh, you do want to make sure that you land somewhere to the upper half of that line. Uh, if you if you land and end up behind that line then your second shot will be blocked by the trees uh, right here and the only way you can get a shot to the hole from there is some sort of a curl and you definitely don't want to have to do that so try to get your drive far enough so you're on the upper edge of that line so if we were to draw a line in the sand or on the fairway 
you definitely want to be on the correct side of that line on this hole. So from that, uh, that landing location up there, um, basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking your second shot with uh, probably either a Viper. Uh, if you have a Guardian, you can use a Guardian. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to use your Saturn though. I think that is going to be the best play um, on that shot. Do keep in mind that it is an uphill second shot, so we're looking at another minus 10 to 20 percent adjustment on the wind. That is a minus 10 to 20 percent adjustment on the wind. Um, and you are going to be using backspin and right spin for that second shot to the hole. Um, keep in mind steep slopes off the edge of this fairway. So if we do have a left to right crosswind, be careful with that, that right spin that you do put on the ball. Because uh, with a left to right wind, uh, it may actually push the ball off that fairway and down to the bottom near the water. And from that spot right there, it's a very difficult chip up to the hole, most pretty much impossible to make that chip all the way down at the bottom of that hill. So definitely that is the way I would suggest to play this hole number four. So we got hole number five now. And a hole number five is a par five. You can find this hole available on the Vegas tournament. Uh, you can find hole four available on the. Um, you know, I put it away. I don't know what what one that was, but uh, yeah. Let's see. Did I write it down anywhere else? No, I did not. Let me see if I got it written down this other sheet. So hole number four. You can find hole number four on the Spring Open. So all of the Southern Pine holes are on the Spring Open. All of the Milano holes are on the Vegas, and all of the Green Oak Point holes are on the Royal Open. So keep that in mind uh, for the rest of the uh, of the video. So we got hole number five, and it is a par five. I would suggest again Quasar or Titan Ball, whatever you can spare. Um, Titan Ball if you have them to use, uh, but Quasars will be okay as well. Um, my suggestion is the Big Topper. You're going to land the Big Topper up in this zone right here with full topspin you want to try to roll it out into that area of the fairway. Um, for your second shot you will be using most likely a big dog um, and then from with the big dog you'll take your shot from there and try to get it up into that zone right there on the fairway. Uh, from there you will have a third shot where you'll skip it off this pad to the hole. Uh, you are going to be using some right spin and a little bit of back spin uh, make sure to you want that second hop uh, over the the bunker to be on the uh, the fringe of the fairway, uh, and then you want that next hop to go towards the hole. You do want to make sure you don't hit the ball too far on that uh, uh, third shot because if you do go too far past the hole, you will roll down the back of the green and most likely off the edge into the rough, which will make that a very difficult birdie chip. This is definitely a very difficult eagle hole. Um, it's going to take a, a very nice third shot to get an eagle on this hole. Uh, one other way you can play this shot is from your uh, your location of your tee shot. You can play it over to this zone right here on the left. Um, and then from there, if maybe you have a sniper or a viper or something, you can play a shot right there where once again you will be hopping it off that little pad of fairway and towards the hole. Um, you can also possibly play a rough bump up there close to the edge of the green um, although that is kind of a risky shot um, because you can either A uh, go too far roll down the back edge of the green or B um, undershoot the shot and end up in the bunker so we don't want to do either of those things and uh, that's pretty much all you got for this hole right here it, it's it's honestly um, a lot of shots but they're pretty straightforward shots um, as you can see, there's really only two ways to attack this hole, either to the right um, or to the left. Uh, if you're going from the right side, you'll most likely have a long iron in the rookie to the green. If you go from the left, then you'll have um, a wood to the green. So basically, it depends on whatever way you prefer to play it and whichever of those clubs that you feel most comfortable with. And uh, that's, the way, that's the way I see it anyways. Hole number six. and par 3. Uh, basically what you're going to do here 
You're either going to play your shot off that little island right there or the rough bump right there. Okay? Those are your two options. Um, the shot off the little um, peninsula looking area, the little island fairway area, would be, I would say, the backbone because the backbone has the highest percentage of um, accuracy. Uh, if you're going to play it off the rough bump, uh, you may need to use a Titan ball to get that ball there. And a lot of times that depends on the winds. If we have more of a left to right blowing wind or a right to left blowing wind, that shot may be a better option. If we have a, a straight tailwind, the rough bump may not be as good of an option. Uh, you usually like to be able to adjust that shot either that way or that way along the rough lines. That way, even if you do miss great left or great right, you're still going to hit the rough and you're still going to bounce onto the green for a very easy makeable putt. If you start having to adjust backwards and forwards, that's when you start having problems. If you have to adjust it backwards, you may undershoot the ball into the bunker. If you have to adjust it forward, you may over adjust and actually land to the green and then back into the trees and stuff like that back here and you don't want that. So uh, fingers crossed for some sort of a, a side wind for our, our tee shot on this hole. So that was hole number six. Um, if you're going to play the shot off the pad with the backbone, the adjustment I've always liked to play is about three and a half bars of backspin and one bar of right spin, and then just aim that shot right off the middle of the pad uh, towards the hole. Uh, some people like to play it right of the hole. I just go ahead and play it right at the, directly at the hole. So it just really depends on that uh, that bounce that you get, and you know it's a very uh, good chance to get the ace. But uh, if you don't get the ace, you'll still be pretty close for a very easy birdie putt on that hole. Um, ball selection, I would say either a navigator for this shot, because you don't need any kind of really side spin one way or the other, uh, or uh, some sort of wind ball. If you have wind balls and you want to use them, I wouldn't recommend using a good wind ball in Rookie. But if you got them and you don't care, money's not an issue, then you know you could always use them. Hole number seven. Par four. Um, this hole right here is maybe one of the tougher holes on the course, uh, especially for the rookies in my opinion. Um, I would definitely be using a Titan ball on this one because you do want a little bit of extra power uh, off the tee shot. Um, if you have better clubs, you could probably maybe get away with a Quasar still. Um, but still, uh, you want somewhere like four to five bars of topspin for this shot. Um, I like the extra mile in the rookie. Um, you will be using full left spin and full left curl on this shot. Your landing zone will be in there somewhere. And your shot will bounce over. Sometimes you'll hit the rough and roll out. You would like to hit in the fairway and roll up into this zone right here. Uh, that's the best result you can have. I think a lot of people in the rookie will find that their shot does land in the rough uh, and then rolls out onto the fairway if you make a perfect shot on that shot. Um, I would I would definitely recommend a 10% um, an additional 10% adjustment off the tee shot because this ball does seem to fly a little bit um, off the tee. So I would definitely recommend a 10% adjustment on this hole um, off the tee box. Uh, your second shot from there should be a very nice thorn shot to the hole. Two to three bars of backspin, straighten the ball right out the best you can and give yourself a little bit of room uh, between the hole and the end of the ball guide and uh, make that eagle that way. If you don't feel comfortable with that shot, you can play the shot to the right uh, where you land your tee shot in here, roll up into that zone right there. Uh, from there you will have a shot to the green um, with your wood club, uh, viper or a sniper. And if you have a sniper club with a really good ball guide, uh, you'll have a really nice shot at the hole even going that way. So uh, if you're going to go to the right side, then that's when I would suggest maybe the Quasar and, and laying up with and not using the Titan ball. Uh, but that's also your choice as well. So just some options that you have playing this hole. If you don't feel like playing it to the left, you can play it to the right and still have a chance to eagle. Not as much of a chance in my opinion, but still a chance nonetheless. Hole number eight. Is a par three. Um, this shot right here, we're going to be landing our tee shot in this zone right here. Uh, from there, we want to bounce up, roll up the hill, 
and back down towards the hole. We had this hole not too long ago, only a few tournaments ago. Um, for the rookies, I would say this is a shot where you can use the Quasar, maybe even a Katana Ball uh, for that extra right spin. Um, you'll be going with either the Viper or the Big Dog. And uh, as far as uh, spins go, I would say you would not be using any top spin or back spin on this shot. You want to use full right spin and maybe a little bit of right curl. Um, basically, you want to judge that shot to where it rolls up the, the back of the green, up the hill, and then back down towards the hole. If you don't get the ball far enough up that back hill, you will not have the energy to get that ball to the hole. Uh, you'll still probably be fairly close to the hole or even right up next to the edge of the hole, but you won't go into the hole. So this is definitely a very good chance at an ace. Um, last time we had this in a tournament on the weekend round, I think I aced it uh, a couple times, two times. Uh, in the pro tournament. I finally found the uh, adjustment for that and hit it good. Hopefully we can do it again this tournament. So last and final hole, hole number nine. And this is a par five. And this is another hole that we've had very recently. Um, I would say a plus 20 to 30 percent adjustment on this shot going downhill over the bunker and just everything together. About 20 to 30 percent uh, plus adjustment on this one. Um, I would definitely say a Titan ball at the very least, and you may want to sp splurge and uh, use one of those power four balls, even maybe a berserker ball in this hole, uh, because getting the ball down that second fairway is key to having a chance at the eagle here. I would say the big topper, you're going to land the big topper here, go as far down this fairway as you can, hopefully land in this zone right here. Um, do keep in mind, there is another one of these lines here. As you can see, you want to be to the left side of that line. If you're to the right side of that line, your second shot will be interfered with by these trees. So definitely keep that in mind when you are making your shot. And that's why I may suggest going with a large, uh, a higher power ball to get that little bit extra yardage. Uh, and the big topper is definitely a great club to use for this hole. Uh, your second club you're going to use is the big dog for this shot here. Um, basically what you're going to be doing is landing it in this zone right here. Uh, you're trying to bounce it in the rough, the second hop in the rough right, the second hop in the rough right there, and then using a, a good amount of topspin, um, at least four, uh, four bars of topspin. You're going to hit that rough and then roll out to the green from there. Um, so it's very imperative and vital that you land that second hop on in that rough. If you land it on the fairway past the rough. That means you're going to be in this bunker right here, and you don't want to do that. Um, your other option would be to try to put some right spin on the ball and get the ball into this area right here for some sort of a chip or something to the hole. I still think the best play on this hole is the top spin, landing in the uh, bunker edge and rolling it onto the, uh, the green that way. Sometimes you won't get far enough onto the green, you will still have to have a little short chip off the fringe, but that's okay. As long as you get the eagle on this hole, it doesn't matter how you get it. So anyways, um, that's going to do it for this rookie guide, and I uh, thank you all very much for joining me. Um, if you haven't done so yet, check us out in the 19th hole. I would like to show you all this quick, really quickly. One of the members of the 19th hole, um, Vic, has created these, um, these note sheets, uh, somewhat similar to what you see on Golf, Golf Clash Notebook. Um, there are a few differences on these. There will be a spot for you to um, add your wind directions at the top of each uh, note square. Um, also... Instead of going, you know, back and forth on the on the sheet, these ones go one through five down, and then uh, six through nine on the other side. So what you can actually do is you can actually take these sheets, fold them in half, and you'll have your your first uh, you have your first five holes on one side. You can flip it, and you have your last four holes on the other side. So you can kind of uh, you have a little bit better order to the way you're looking at your holes, in my opinion, I think it's a pretty cool feature where you can actually um, fold the sheet in half and only have to look at half the sheet. So a lot less information right there in front of your face when you're trying to, to look at your notes and figure out what spin I'm supposed to use on what hole. So definitely, y'all, keep your eyes out on the 19th hole for that, and there will also be a full uh, 1 through 9 a full page guide as well. That will include all of the uh, the shots that I talked about here, 
and uh, the paths on each hole. So definitely check that out on the 19th hole. And thanks again to Vic for uh, putting that all together. So this has been Jesse Bo for the 19th hole, and uh, thank you all for joining me. Y'all have a good day. God bless.